have just decided to suddenly go off the side of the wall. Alright! Oh. Wait. Oh, it's a bat! Come on. Hey, come on. Aha! Anyways, hi everybody, I'm Lucas Grimm. And I'm Pentavis. Welcome to GameItAll.com Let's Play. And we are playing... Micromages. Oh god, don't run in that water. Uh, I assume it seems boiling. Yes. Boiling water is not good. I didn't even realize it was boiling until I saw the guy die. Oh. That there was an enemy that fell into that water? Yeah. I just... Yeah, I did. You, you died, but you caught the burb. Okay. I wasn't paying attention at that point. But anyways, this is a... Uh, this is a NES game that's available on Steam. And uh, a lot of fun so far. And it's a co-op platformer. But it's not side-scrolling, it's a vertical scroll. Which, I mean, for NES, that's not the norm. Shit. You're gonna die, aren't you? Nope. Oh, you... Bitch. I didn't dig it, you did. I was nowhere near a star for once. For once! <laughs> I will own up to me trying to fuck you over, but for once it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I see like a that neck there. Yeah, I don't like that he's right there, which to me signals that they can. Oh, okay. No, they just kind of charge at you. I thought he was gonna spit. No, that's just you. Yeah, good point. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry for those not uh, understanding the joke, but I'm not explaining it. <laughs> that was Pino that was spit. Pino's no quitter. Also, I thought spit was small. No. Spitters are quitter, man. Whoa, whoa! Yeah, the, the snake, uh, the snake made, uh, that look. <laughs> I had no way of actively telling where was the hole. No, hey. not at all. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> oh god. I am making all the bad jokes today, aren't I? That's... I mean, we had, uh, we got boned by skeletons. Mm -hmm. And then spitters. Spitters. They're definitely quitters. I mean, he just jumped into the fucking water. Alright, alright. There, I hit the the thing this time. You hit the checkpoint. Oh. oh. You almost got boned. You almost boiled me. You dinkus. I could have been mean here. I could have kept going up. Then you would have been screwed. No, oh, I lost my burb. No, not the burb. Minotaur's dead. At least you got a fairy back. I don't think. Is that a minotaur or an imp devil? I tell. Why did I say minotaur? Oh, uh, it's got a tail. It has a pitchfork. Oh. It's an imp. Ah, you. Bastard. No, what, I'm not what, gonna go for that treasure. What did I do? What? Oh, I'm gonna go for that treasure. You go, you go ahead and do that. I'm gonna kill the imp devil. And, Guess uh, what? I got the treasure. What you gonna do? What you gonna do about all that junk? All that, that junk. Um. While we clean it out. We all know that's a lie. No! There's a timer to get to the door after someone gets in the door. <laughs> There's little stars that count down at the top. I, I was low key trying to see what would happen. Well, I, uh, I was like, no, and deny you the pleasure. Man. Fuck you, Imp. Imp. Did he get you? He got me. 
You got gimped. Yeah, gimped. Fourteen. Better than being gimped. Is it? Is it? Is it not? I don't know. I would ask Pino that, but uh, he's a deviant. You mean he's on Deviant Dark? Probably. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is Deviant Dark even relevant anymore? I honestly do not know. I don't think I've ever seen anything outside of a. Uh... I don't think I've seen anything from that uh, site in years. Makes me feel old, man. Makes me feel old. I mean, I'm pretty sure once Imager came out, like, everyone just went, oh yeah. You're back alive, mate! You're back alive! Yeah, let's see, Imager doesn't, for the longest time, didn't allow 18 plus stuff. True. Kind of. I guess. I'm... Wait, are we already at the boss? We're already at the- oh dear god. Uh... What kind of Dark Souls shit is this? Shooting bats at us? Bats that don't wanna di Bats and flying swords that come for your crotch. Gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. What the hell? It's our last life. Three, six, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight. I don't know I don't the know. song that makes reference to number. Eight, six, seven, five. That song, I think. Got it. We can't kill the bats. Oh, we can no. just after. Oh, no, we no, can't. No, 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 they, they just manually pop. Uh, yeah, so... Oh, oh, fuck. This is where we game over. Three, six, four, five. Oh, wait, it gives us continue. Back at 3 1. Well, it's better than starting back at 1 1. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, I'll take it. Got it. That's she... a good time. Ooh, good time come out. Great, that song's gonna be stuck in my head. You're welcome. What no song's been stuck in my head lately? Danger Zone. Lana. Lana. But no, <laughs> why? Because it's the Proto Man? No. No. Not even. It's a. Uh, one of my friend plays Fate. Like, Figo or whatever it's called. Okay. And he keeps talking about the Archer class. But every time I hear Archer. You just think. In my head, it automatically goes. Do -do -do -dum -dum -do -do -dum -dum. And I'm like. God damn it. <laughs> I'm actually always surprised with, uh, like, the Fate series at how popular it's gotten. Like, that game was a pretty much started out as a porn, didn't it? It, it was an erotic visual novel at the start, yes. Yeah. And now it's, like, this... Like... This gotcha game that makes a fortune from whales wanting to buy JPEGs of waifus? Yeah, that. And, uh, also, like, they have the, the brawler that they've released on PS4 and Switch. Uh, yeah. And it has a, a decently run anime series. Like, I've, I've seen some of the fight scenes in that, and that's fucking awesome looking. Yeah. I mean, mind yeah. you, like, I haven't actually watched the series itself, so I don't know what the fuck's going on. But My, my I... friend tried to explain the storyline to me, and it makes no sense. Yeah. Because you have Fate Stay Night and then Fate Zero, which are the two main ones. But apparently, Unlimited Blade Work and... Other One are just... Alternate ending of Zero? 
with what if X character didn't die or what if X character won the war instead. Oh, okay. But then all of the other ones are also spin-off of Zeros <laughs> with alternate storytelling. Like one of them is what if Saber was a guy instead of a girl? Wasn't Saber originally supposed to be a guy anyways, like in history? Yes. <laughs> uh and then there's the whole Ilya one, which is like a super spin-off of a spin-off. Okay. Which, the way he explained it to me, it goes season 1, 2, 3, then the movie. <laughs> but the movie creates a paradox loop to the first season, which effectively makes season 2 and 3 and the movie don't exist, which then leads into season 4. So, like, the movie creates a paradox loop that makes the movie not exist? Yes. What? Because the movie leads back into the event of season one, but then... Oh, you <laughs> dick! <laughs> but then instead of season one ending into season two, it heads into season four. Therefore, season two and three never happened, which means the movie never happened. Okay, remember I said <laughs> decently run anime series? <laughs> I take that back. <laughs> Still, it uh, impressive for a game that started off as an erotic visual novel. Why, why can't you just I don't know, shoot I, for it. some reason I'm trying to shoot it, but I'm like aiming wrong. Oh, I'm just gonna... Yep. Thank you. So yeah, like, I was really confused, and he explained it at like 3 in the morning, and I was fucking tired. And I was like, what? <laughs> okay. Don't get me wrong, I still want to go around and watch it all. But man, did that make no sense. This is, uh, this is like the, um, uh, Star Bomb. Like, um, explain this simply, the series. Yeah. Man, you're wrecking my shit today. Good thing it's not a versus. <laughs> God, that laugh was annoying. It was very Jimmy Carr of you. Oh, oh, oh. And... I want to watch more 8 out of 10 cats. So, there was a series that we found uh, that was hosted by Jimmy Carr on Netflix called The Fix. The Fix? The Fix. They take um, uh, subjects like uh, the wage gap and shit like that okay. and get comedians to fix the problem. Oh god, that sounds like it's an amazing concept. It is. It's it's a great like Is it mostly like eight out of ten cat people? From what I've seen, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like I, I noticed a couple of them at least. Uh and there there's other people that's like on there. Sean Locke and uh John Richardson. Yeah, I think they showed up for a couple episodes. And then like they have two people that uh stay on for like I picked the up star, a star again. <laughs> yeah, so they have like two main ones, and then it's just yeah. side. That's so kind of like what the other shows that Jimmy Car hosts does. Yeah. Hey, there's a pig fairy here for you. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need the fairy. That that night's gonna wreck our shit. No, we're gonna wreck your shit. We Debatable. got that. Bitch, don't be a quitter. I don't know what the hell happened there. Uh, we both tried to go the same way. And that turned out very poorly. Bats. Fucking bats. Bats out of hell. <laughs> Great. So, 8675301, and now... And bat I out of hell by me. anything for love. <laughs> But I won't play Dark Souls. 
That being said, I'm pretty excited for uh, Human Souls. It's the only Souls like I ever finished. Yeah! Yes! He told you we'd push his shit in! We didn't even get hit! Why Why is it taking so long to move? Okay. Whew. Seven, six, four, one. Oh god. What the F is this? Know what this level gives me vibes of that I really enjoy? It gives me Shovel Knight vibes. It's the bright purple, isn't it? It is. It's definitely the bright purple. Okay. Whoa. whoa. Fuck, get up there. Okay, I guess I'm not supposed to go that way. I guess I'm supposed to go past lightning. Ride the lightning, motherfucker. Ah. Go get that checkpoint. You gotta get that checkpoint. Come and get your ram job. Come on, get your ram job. The fuck are you singing? Oh, uh, so this was in one of Birdie Mac's last role. It was a movie with Samuel L. Jackson called Soul Brother. Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah, I remember that. Uh, and he's a car dealer. And one of his promotion was... Come get your room job. Well, car dealership slash car wash, and he had a promotion of getting a free room job with a car wash. So oh, he dear. was just going all around, Come on, get your room job! Come on, get your room job! <laughs> <laughs> it was one of the most, uh random purchase I've done at Blockbuster, and I do not regret any moments of it. I love it when you watch like a random movie or pick up a random game that you're like, oh man, this is, like, I don't know how this is gonna turn out, and it ends up being, like, fucking amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna admit, it's very, it's not often. No. Like, one could almost say this was one of those, but I've been eyeing this game for a while now. Fuck. Shit, I almost died at the same spot, too. Run! Hit, and... Hit! Yes! We did it! We beat Tower Fort 1. All right. I guess we'll see the end of Tower Four on the next episode. That to assume it doesn't kick our ass. Stop being so pessimistic. <laughs> Darn it! All right. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification button to know when we publish next. And for GameItAll.com, I'm Lucas Grimm, and I'm Pentavis. We'll see you guys next time.